new children? Yes, very good. That's the spirit. Now, I'm here to teach you something new. So, I have this digit children. What is this digit? 1. What is the value of this digit? 1. 1 is just 1. It can be either uh, 1 eraser or 1 pen or uh, 1 scale. 1 is just 1. Now, how can I increase its value children? How can I increase the value of 1? I can increase the value of 1 by placing another digit beside it. Now, what is the value of 1 children? This became 14. Isn't it? The value of 1 increased to 14. Can I still further increase its value? See? Now, what is the value of 1? This is 41. So, 1 value is increased as 41. Okay. If I take 3, three digits children, I have taken one more digit. Okay. Now, I have 3 digits. 1, 4 and 3. Let me arrange them in different ways so that I can see for which one I will get a greater value. See children, 1, then 3, then 4. Now what this became? 134. Okay, so I got a number as 134. Now let me rearrange them. 4 here and 3 here. Now which number did I get children? 143. Okay. Now again let me rearrange children. Now what number did I get? I got 314. Okay. One more rearrangement. Four here and one here. Now what is the number children? 341. Okay. And uh, now if I arrange like this. What number did I get? Isn't it? Okay. One more. Number 431. Any other rearrangements children? Any other possibilities in which you can frame a different number? Okay then. Okay. Now for my rearrangements I got these possibilities. Out of these possibilities children, which possibility is showing a greater value? A greater number where did I form using these arrangements? Yes. It is here at 431. 431, I got a greater value. How did I get that greater value, children? See, I have arranged these numbers using the descending order. From the digit which is having greater value to the digit which is having smaller value, I have arranged them. That's why I got a greater value. Isn't it, children? So, let us learn today how to build numbers using the given digits. If some digits are given and if you want to arrange them, how to form a greatest number and how to form a smallest number. Now, let us start our exercise 1C. Now, see here children, they gave you few digits and using these digits you have to form the greatest number and smallest number. Now, what are the digits which they gave here? 2, 8, 1, 4. So, using these digits, let us form the greatest number. As I said you already, we arrange them in descending order. That is, from greatest digit to the smallest digit we arrange to get a greatest number. And what is the greatest digit among these? 8. So, 8 comes first. Next, after that, after 8, 4 is the next greatest digit. So, I am writing 4. After 4, 2 is the greatest digit and finally 1. So this means 
8421 is the greatest number which you can form using these digits. Now let us see how to frame a smallest number. This simple this is simply a reverse order of what we have learned now. That means to form the greatest number, we have arranged these digits from greatest number, greatest digit to smallest digit. Now let us arrange in from smallest digit to greatest digit to get the smallest number. Now which is the smallest digit among these? 1. Next, 2. Next, 4. And finally, 8. That means 1248 is the smallest number which you can frame using these digits. Okay. Now let us go to the next sum. See here children. Here the greatest digit is 9. So I am writing first 9. Arranging the digits from bigger value to smaller value. So 9 first and then 7, then 6 and then 0 finally. So this is 9760. Next, to frame the smallest number children, here what is the smallest digit here? 0. Isn't it? Next, after that you have 6, 7 and finally 9. Now, can you read this number children? Nothing in thousands place. So, ignore that. And this became 679. But, they have given us 4 digits. And using the 4 digits, we couldn't frame a 4 digit smallest number. This is only a 3 digit number. Isn't it children? So, what do we do? Now, we are putting the 0 in the second place. So, that we get a 4 digit number. So, 6 which is in the second place, I am writing first, then 0 in the second place, exchanging those number digits and then 7 and 9 as it is. Now, this is your smallest number. Okay, children, whenever you have 0 digit given in the given digits, now then put the 0 in the second place, not in the first place. Okay, now see the next one. Here, see children. The greatest digit here is 7. Next, we have 5. After that, 4. Then 3. Then 1. This is 75,431. Now, let us form the smallest number for, from these digits. For that, as I said earlier, we will take the smaller value and then go to the bigger value. 1 is the smallest digit here. Next, 3, 4, 5 and 7. So, this gives 13,457. Now, let us go to the next sum. See here, we have, we need to form a greatest number here. For that, 9 is the greatest digit here. Next, we have 8, 7, 2, 0 which makes 98,720. To form the smallest number children, as I said you, I can't take 0 in the first place. So, I am putting 0 in the second place and the next smallest digit here is 2. That 2 I am putting in the first place. Okay, now continue with the next digits. 20,789 is the smallest number formed. Now, let us go to the next sum. What is the greatest value here in the digits given children? 8 has greater value. So 8, next to 5, next to 4, next to 3, 2, 1. This makes 8,54,321. And going to the smallest number, start with the lower value. That is 1 is the digit here among the digits which is having lower value. So 1. Then 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, which is simply a reverse of the greatest number. Now, let us see how to form greatest and smallest numbers using the given digits. So, see children, here they have given 3 digits 2, 9, and 1. So, to form the greatest number, we take from greatest digit, which is 9, then 2, and then 1. But children, this is a 3 digit number and we require a 
four digit number. So let us repeat the greatest digit once again. So this became the greatest four digit number. Now let us print the smallest number. See one is the smallest digit. So starting from one and then two and then nine. But as this is just a three digit number and we require a four digit number, let us re repeat the smallest digit once again to make it a four digit number. Now see here children, eight, three and five are the uh, given digits and let us uh, arrange them from greater uh, digit to smaller digit in descending order and then to make a four digit number children, let me repeat the greatest digit once again. So this became 88. 8853. Now let us see the smallest number. See here children, 8, 3 and 5 are the given digits. So to get the smallest number, let us arrange from smallest to digit which is 3, then 5 and then 8. But see here children, as this is a 3 digit number and we require a 4 digit number, I am repeating the smaller digit once again. Now see the next one. 4, 8 and 0 are the given digits. So let me, let me arrange them from greatest digit to smallest digit. And as I require a greater value, greater digit, I am repeating once again. To frame the smallest number, look here carefully. Children. See here, this the smaller value is 8, 0. But as I can't place it in the first position, I am placing in the second position. And then 4 and then 8 but as this is a three digit number and we require a four digit number let me add the smallest digit here which is zero i have repeated it twice okay children now let us go to the next sum here the greatest digit is 8310 which makes 8310 and the smallest number is 1038 now let us see how to frame greatest and smallest 5 digit numbers. Now according to the given digits, the greatest number is 9, 2 and 1 which is 921. To, we require a 5 digit number and this is just a 3 digit number so we are lagging behind 2 more digits. So greatest digit I am repeating 2 more times and this became our greatest 5 digit number. Let us form the smallest 5 digit number with these digits. So this is 1, 2 and 9 framed out of these uh, given digits and as this is just a 3 digit number and we require a 5 digit number, smallest number we require, so smallest digit I am repeating 2 more times and I got a 5 digit number. Now see here children, 8, 3 and 5 are the given digits, so 8, 5 and 3 makes a three digit number repeating the greatest digit two more times is giving me a five digit number to frame the smallest number three five and eight according to the given digits but as we need a five digit number the smaller digit i'm repeating two more times here now see here children four eight and zero are the given digits let me form a greater number here so 840 is the greatest number formed using these digits but as I require a 5 digit number uh, so I am repeating the greater value two more times. So this became 88,840. Now see the smallest one. See here children, here 4, 8 and 0 are the given digits. So, to form the smallest number, I can make it as uh, 4, 0, 8. But as I need a smallest number and uh, this is just a 3 digit number, smaller digit I am repeating 2 more times. And this became my 5 digit number. Now see here children, I need a greatest 5 digit number. But according to the digits, it is 8, 3, 1, 0, which is a 4 digit number and I require a 5 digit number. So, greater 1, I am repeating uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 digit. One time I have repeated to get a 5 digit number. Now, see here children, the smaller one. This is 1, 0, 3, 8, 
but this is a four digit number and as I require a five digit number the smallest digit among this which is zero I am repeating one more time here and I received a five digit number.